Our section A consists of population concepts and factors affecting birth and death rate. And our question one, always in section A, is about multiple choice. All right. Remember, we have the low order questions. We have the middle order and the high order questions. So definitely our question one will always be a low order question whereby everyone can be able to everyone can be able to answer the question all right so let's see multiple choice questions you need to circle underline or highlight the correct answer all right let's see here uh, population growth depends on the a people dying on a daily basis b people being born on a daily basis c uh, migration of the people and then d all of the above remember population growth is the number of people growing in an area yes so people it is an increase in the number of people in an area so the suitable answer for this is d right suitable answer for this is um d the suitable answer is d let's highlight d um so all the above our suitable answer is is d okay sorry about that i need to erase i need to erase i need to erase all right our suitable answer here um our suitable answer here is d right so the answer here is d and then you circle there all right let's go to 1.2 the number of uh the number one killer disease that affected the population of the world uh we have a smallpox b tuberculosis c hiv and then you have d which is flu so the suitable answer here is d hiv which is C, HIV, which is human immune virus, stroke AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Then we have 1.3, most people migrated because of A, job opportunity around the world, B, being bored, C, feeling like migrating, D, running away from Ebola. So here our answer is most people migrate definitely because of job opportunities. People look for jobs around the world yes and then 1.4 developed countries have a lot of elderly people because a they have good health services stroke medication and equipment uh, b they deserve to be there and then c they are well cared for d the elderly die of variety of sicknesses so the proper answer here for 1.4 is a Developed countries have a lot of elderly people because they have good, they have good healthy services or medication and equipment. Right, 1.1.5, which country in Africa is the best developing country from these above? We have Ethiopia, we have Zimbabwe, South Africa, we have Ghana. The answer is C, which is South Africa. All right. And then read the case study below and answer the following questions. The case study is about scientific developments. People have a better chance of living longer because of scientific development. Medicine has been developed and healthcare is improved by scientific developments. These are new ways that scientists have developed to make our lives better, like health services, um, living conditions, and general things we need in our everyday life. There has been a decrease in death rate and infant mortality all over the world due to scientific developments. Discoveries have led to technological advance, advances that helped improve lives. Here are some of scientific developments. For example, for a long time, people thought diseases were spread by bad smells. Science had helped us to understand diseases, and this has made it easy to treat and control disease. Vaccines and medical drugs help to control diseases. Immunization has also been used in many countries to prevent their babies from dying. In 1860, a French scientist named Louis Pasteur proved that disease are spread through air 
and in water by germs. Pastoralization has been named after him, i.e. a process that kills germs in fresh milk. In the past, many patients died uh, during, in the past, many patients died during after operations, but after a process of washing hands and changing clothes before assisting the next person was introduced, a death rate developed in Vienna Hospital, which was in Australia. John Lister, a surgeon, began to clean and sterilize everything used during operation. Patient skin, surgeon hands, instruments, sewing thread, and cotton wool. This was done with the use of antiseptics. Today, antiseptics such as Dettol and Savlon uh, are used. Death rate is in this surgery fell from 50% to 5% in two years. Later, surgeons wear special speci uh, sterile gowns and masks instead of their ordinary clothes. Rubber gloves were invented in 1890. So let's see the first question. In which words? Let's see the first question. In which words, um, in your own words, explain their scientific development? All right. So for um, in 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 your own words. So in your own words, you explain what is scientific development. All right. Let's see. So in your own words, you can describe scientific uh, development. You can describe scientific development. Uh, so these are new ways, um, scientific developments. These are new ways, uh, when you talk about scientific development, these are new ways that scientists have developed to make our lives better. That is how you can describe. Let's see. These are new ways, uh, scientists. These are new ways that scientists have developed to make, like you can get this answer from here. Oh. You can get this answer from here. Let me highlight it for you. Yes. Still, you use these are new ways scientists have developed to make our lives better, like health services, living conditions, and general things we need in our everyday life. So this one can be an answer to question uh, 1.2.1. The one I highlighted in blue. Name three scientific developments from the article. All right. So when you name three scientific developments from the article, you still go here. The scientific developments from the article, you can get them from here. For example, these vaccines, these vacci vaccinations, these immunizations, immunizations. All right. You can also talk about Pastoralization, whereby a liquid is boiled to 60 degrees Celsius. You can also talk about washing of hands using, um, washing of hands using, uh, washing of hands. Uh, you can talk about washing of hands. All right. You can also you talk about using of antiseptics such as data and uh, Savlon, right? That can be your answer for question 1.2.2. All right. So then, how have these developments affected the world's population? Definitely, the world's population has has increased, right? This is how they have affected the world's population. Then, what is pastoralization? All right. So, pastoralization, this is a process that kills germs in fresh milk. Right, process that kills germs in fresh milk. Process that kills uh, germs in fresh milk is pasteurization. Process, process that kills germs. Hello? All right, in the jam, but the recording when I'm coming, just give me a few minutes. Process that kills, sorry, process that kills germs in pasteurized. Process that kills germs in fresh milk is called pasteurization. That kills germs in fresh 
milk is called process that kills jams in fresh uh, process that kills jams in fresh milk is called pastoral that kills jams in fresh in fresh what in fresh milk is called pastoralization what caused the death rate in vienna to drop All right what caused the death rate in vienna to drop so when the process of washing hands and changing clothes were introduced before assisting a new patient yes so let's look for the answer there and highlight it all right it's here when the process of washing hands and changing clothes before assisting the patient was introduced they dropped in in a hospital so this is the answer for one one point two point five all right and then what caused the infant mortality rate to decrease let's see in our um paragraph what caused the infant the infant mortality rate to decrease all right there has been a death in the decrease of death there has been a decrease in death and infant mortality over the world due to scientific development this is the answer for 1.2.6 all right so Name one disease you were immunized as a baby. So diseases you can talk about, you can talk about polio, diseases you can talk about. Diseases you can talk about here. Diseases. So diseases here you can talk about the ones that you've been immunized against you can talk about uh polio you can talk about diseases like polio you can talk about diseases like polio in question 1.2. 2.7 you, you can talk about polio you can talk about smallpox and measles and etc all right so um let's move on okay so let's see um section b natural resources and conservation in south africa this is the topic in term four like i told you section b is focused on term four match the terms in the table with the statements below we have natural resources deforestation landfill space and then conservation and ecotourism so we have 2.1.1 anything that people get and use from nature definitely that is a natural resource I will highlight it with a, a yellow. It's a natural resource. It's a natural resource. All right. And then two points. I'll highlight it with a yellow so that you know. Then two points, 1.2. The action of clearing a wide area of trees. The action of clearing a wild area of trees is called deforestation. I will highlight deforestation with a purple. Meaning is the answer to question 2.1.2. .2. Then we have a piece of land used for dumping waste. It's called a landfill space. I will highlight it with another color, which is brown, so that you know it is the answer. Yeah, this is the answer. All right. Protection of the environment and certain animal species is called um, conservation. So that one I will highlight it with another with the red so that you know is the answer. Yes. And then tourism that uses uh nature as the main 
uses nature as the main attraction. It's ecotourism. I'll come here and I highlight it with this color so that you know it is the answer. All right, it's the answer for that. All right, then we're going to place the following words in the correct column. Place the following words in the collect what column. Press the following words in the collect in the correct what column. Okay, we have renewable and non-renewable resources. I will highlight the renewable resources with one color, which is red. Remember, renewable resources, these are resources that can um they can be used again. Renewable, it means they cannot be used up. Even if they are used up, they can grow again. Non-renewable means they can be used up. The moment they are used up, you cannot regain them again. So under renewable, I will highlight all the resources under renewable resources that we can have again. They cannot be used. They can be used up, but they can grow again. We have sunlight. I will color it red. We have air. We also have soil. Then non-renewable, I'll color it another color, which is yellow. Those ones that if, the moment they are used, it takes them a million years to grow again. We have gold and we also have silver. These are also minerals. Then we have study the pie chart. We have study the pie chart uh, graph. It's a pie graph below and answer the questions. Who uses South Africa's water? Right here we have a pie chart. Okay, we also have um, the key, the ones that you see. All right, so then we have under livestock, watering and nature conservation, we have 2.7, mining 3.3%, power generation 4.3, industrialization 18.3, manspoil or domestic 17.8. So here we have list the water use. We have... Um, List the water use activities shown in the pie chart from the biggest to the smallest. All right. From our biggest, remember you look at this um, uh, uh, list from the biggest to the smallest. All right. From our biggest, remember we look at the percentages. All right. So we are listing them to point. We are going to list them. Our biggest is municipality, which is? Municipal, which is 17.8, followed by industrial, which is 11.3. Then we have power generation, 4.3, 4 then mining, 3.3. And then the last one is 2.7. All right. So we have one is the one for, I'll write the percentages. 17.7, 17.8, then we have the other one, which is 11.3, then we have the one that is 4.3, and then we have 3.3, and then 2.7, as given the names above. Then you're going to fill in the following information. You're going to fill in the following information. Fill in the following information in the table below using a pie chart. All right, let's see. A, this one, the one that is three, it's mining, All right? It is, it is mining. It is mining. In A, we have mining. Mining, the answer is mining. Then under B, industrial, the answer is manufacturing goods, menu, manufacturing, manufacturing goods. Here our answer for C, it is two. Our answer for C is two. Sorry. It's two. 
0.7. And then our answer for D is power generation. Power generation. Then generation. Then our answer for E, the last one. The last one is household use. Is household use. Right. Then which sector uses the most water? Definitely it is the farming sector. Farming sector. Farming sector. Do you think they use the most water? Why do you think they use the most water? Definitely the water, they produce large amounts of meat, uh, fruit, vegetation, and raw materials. They produce large amounts of meat. They produce large, they produce large amounts of meat, meat, vegetables, vegetables, fruit, etc. Which sector, which sectors used on the pie chart use water in each of the ways? To water crops, which sector is that? It's farming. To coal machines, it's industrial. To water, to water gardens, see, it's domestic. Domestic. To cook supper for the family. Oh, sorry. Yes, it's also domestic. Oh, the other one is uh, municipal. And then for animals to drink, it's livestock. It's livestock watering. It's livestock watering. All right. And then F to cool machines, it's mining. And then for cooling towers at power station, it's power generation. Right. Then 2.3.5. Which sector or sectors can use its water? Explain five simple questions. So we have domestic sector, domestic domestic sector for example the jojo tanks used to reuse rainwater for flushing of toilets and watering gardens then also industrial we also have industrial for example water used for cooling machines can be reused we have mining for example water used to cool the drills can be reused in power in power generation for example water used to call the power station can be reused right it's out of 35 so meaning your paper there it's out of 50 yes good luck